The water main break that ravished Norris Street and created an urban river running through campus last Wednesday caused a nightmare for students attempting to get to class. I'm over at Presser. I had to like walk through all the streets with like all the water on them. You either like cross through the water or you had to go like way far down like to find somewhere places dry. Like a lot of people just jumped over, but they didn't really make it. The street that was once uprooted by water is now freshly paved and students are back to their normal commute. But some are not as fortunate. Oh, I'm so fortunate. I'm looking for. <laughs> That's Sue Kim, the cook of Korea House, the food truck she and her husband own and operate. Due to the water main break, Sue had to move her truck so she could receive food deliveries, which caused even more problems. Yeah, we have problem. They don't saw auto coming. We they said it's a removal. We move, come here, my customer is, well, it is a Korea, Korean food truck. The relocation of their truck cost Sue and her husband customers that they rely on to keep them in business. They now must wait for the OK to move back to their regular location. Hey, they finish it, we go back. Water department officials say that Norris Street will be open by the end of this week, but some just can't seem to wait. We have been told by several sources that Temple will not be charged with any of the reconstruction costs. We have also been confirmed that the library construction was not delayed at any point during the reconstruction. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Nick Charles.